arrived in Los Angeles in March and landed right in the storm. There were extraordinary heavy rainfalls in California this year and it feels like that over the course of the three months that I've been here, I've experienced all kind of weather phenomena. When you come from Europe, you know that there is a certain light in California. What I was not aware of is that all other weather conditions here can feel very intense too. In Germany, I got lots of inspiration from studying representations of nature in art history. Here in LA, I got ideas from a painting from observing the environment closely. I usually start my day with a walk at the ocean. Besides the rain, I experience the fog. And fog here means endless fog. It really embraces everything. You learn that a never-ending gray itself can be sublime. When returning to the apartment, I usually allowed myself watching 10 minutes of the local news every day, where this year's exceptional weather conditions were kind of a non-stop topic. And amid images of floods and landslides, and when the rain does not end, you start asking questions. Is that still normal? Why is the weather so extreme this year? Is there a relation to climate change, or is it a kind of natural cycle? Before I came to America, I read a text by Nicolas Bourriot, who says that the sublime of today is a sense of loss of control over the planet. I got back to that thought quite often here and in my paintings and my photographs I have developed an aesthetic that has something to do with that. I think a lot about the relationship of man and nature about that weird dichotomy that we just make up. In terms of my art, this means that I don't want the viewer to be able to overlook a certain landscape that forms a backdrop for human acting. Instead, single elements of nature itself become the protagonists of my pictures, like the air, the water, the light, the darkness, the clouds. I depict these phenomena in the form of all-over paintings, so that nature appears big and can't be objectified. This impression is even intensified in the works in aluminium. Due to the reflection of the metal, these works contain a certain activity. They always appear different depending on the light of the exhibition space and on one's viewpoint. By doing so, they can't just be overlooked. The viewer has to understand himself as a part of something, something that, in the end of the day, I think will be stronger than us.